Recently in the new Sumeru update, the Hydro Resonance was changed from Healing Bonus to Max HP, not something Hoyoverse has done before. The Dendro Resonance was added alongside with Electro Resonance getting a bit of rework, but they're just about the same, comparing to Hydro Resonance at least. A reason for why these resonances are changed are probably for the future of the game, and there's evidence for this. A good example is Kokomi. During her release, she had one of the worst sales in all of Genshin. If you didn't know, she's a healer that healed just a bit too much. She wasn't a bad unit, just that at the time, shields were the meta. After Rift Hound and the Ocean Hued clan artifact set was released, her utility became a lot more valuable for many people. Hoyover seemed to have planned this alongside designing Kokomi's kit. They knew having a healer would be effective against enemies that ignores shields. I remember people joking at the time that people with John Lee gotta learn how to dodge again since his shield is so insanely thick. Hoyover has made John Lee too broken and ever since that incident, Hoyover is making a good track record on making characters with ideal plan in mind. Take Yaimiko for example. Her kit has a passive that for every element of mastery she has, the damage of her skill increases. It is not that useful at the time since Electro's reaction don't rely on elemental mastery for damage, mostly attack and crit. But with Sumeru's release, which means Dendro's release, it all makes sense. If you didn't know, Quicken and Aggravate scales with elemental mastery, which makes Yaimiko's elemental mastery passive useful. Her kit was designed 4 versions earlier back in 2.5 before Sumeru's release, which proves Hoyoverse is making sure these characters are set up for the future's mechanics. Another example is Ayato. Similar to Yai, he has a passive scaling with max HP despite having attack and crit as his main source of damage. More HP increases his damage even if it's not a big difference. But with Hydro Resonance changed to increase max HP, Ayato gets a small boost which may save a time loss in the abyss. With this analysis, the Archons come to mind. Elemental Resonances now have consistency with how it represents the elements and Archons. Animal increases speed and reduces stamina. This resonance is mostly for mobility in the overworld. However, the resonance lacks of crowd control compared to speed. Maybe it could be added in the future if Dendro reacts with Animo. Most Animo characters have extra mobility like double jump, dashing, faster travel, and many more. There's also a cooldown reduction which I'm not sure what it's for but it's there. Again, it could be improved upon most likely. Now for Geo, it's just shields. Come on. Come on. You get more attack while shielded, increases shield strength and geo resistance shred. Simple, fits the geo archon perfectly. Moving on, we have Electro. It generates an electro particle whenever an electro reaction is made. Similar to how Raiden generates energy for your team, very simple as well, really simple. Now as for Dendro, the Dendro Archon might be released soon, but without a doubt, it will follow the resonance like boosting elemental mastery. So all that's left are the Hydro, Pyro, and Cryo Archons. If our proof are correct, then these three Archons should follow the resonances. The Hydro Archon, the God of Justice, will boost all party members max HP, which makes her really good in double Hydro, Hu Tao, or just HP scaling characters. Murata, according to the manga, the Pyro Archon would be our second Bennett, and she will boost our attack by a massive amount. Finally, we have the Saritsa, the Cryo Archon, which boosts crit rate at least from the resonance itself. This seems odd, but consistent Considering this blizzard set also boosts your crit rate when enemies are frozen, is pretty good evidence that the Saritsa may perhaps boost our crit rate or crit damage. Of course, now I see why the Saritsa is placed near the end of the game, because she's too overpowered man! She's so overpowered! Oh my god! However, that is saying they'll be playable, but I have hope that they will be. Considering that, based off of Hoyoverse other game, Honkai Impact, some people have already done their analysis on Honkai characters being future Archons, especially with that much evidence. Please like the video.